Welcome everyone. Welcome on Instagram on Zoom. Today it's Yoda for everyone and we're exploring backbends, chest openers. It's important to do these chest openers properly because a lot of people, including myself, uh, well, we have the tendency of collapsing on the lower back. The lower back, the lumbar spine, is already in a back bend. So if you think of the spine, it has four curves. There's the tailbone at the bottom curling in, and then there's the lumbar spine, which is in a back bend. Then there's the thoracic spine, which is in a forward bend. And then finally, there's the cervical spine, which of course, as you can see, is in a back bend. So when we're trying to open up our body, the front of the body, there's always the tendency of collapsing in the lower back, which is already in a back bend. What we want today is to make sure that we engage the deep core muscles so that we lift up and we open up through the chest. That way we find a more healthy and um, steady curve all the way up rather than it ending up being just the lumbar curving and hopefully not but unfortunately that could mean that you're hurting yourself that you're collapsing on your lumbar so in order to get strong at first we're going to do a couple of exercises that will help us have more awareness of our glutes and our abdominal strength so that we're able to then use that strength to lift up and open up through the chest. We'll start with a, um, a warm-up uh, that comes from forest yoga. So you want the legs apart. If it's too much, you can place something under your hips to elevate your hips so that you're a bit higher. If again it's a lot, then you can come to cross-legged. So from that position, we want to make sure that we're sitting in front of the sit bones. That's why it helps to sit on top of something. Pick the chest up and then bring your right hand to the outside. Pull your shoulders back, your shoulder blades down and inhale the left arm up and overhead. Find an external rotation of the arm, which means that the palm will face down and towards the back and reach away. Relax the head. Keep that length, it's not about coming down, it's about reaching up. So inhale to the whole left side, relax the head. And exhale, pull away through the fingertips. Two more times, keep the belly strong. Inhale to the whole left side. And exhale, reach away through the fingertips. One more, inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Stay as you are, just bring the arm to the left. Reach away through the fingertips, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades stop. Inhale into the left knee. Exhale, reach away through the fingertips. One more time, inhale to the left, trapezius, the left neck. And exhale, relax the left side of the face. Use your right hand to pick the head up. Take a second, just sitting up tall. Lateral stretches are important for our whole body to stretch. So if you have any lower back pain, you'll see that these sort of stretches help you to find more length in your body and open up a bit more through the chest. Bring your left hand down, inhale the right arm up and overhead, come down and towards the back. Pull the shoulders back, left shoulder blades down, relax the head. Then inhale away through the right arm and exhale, keep reaching away, round your sits, suck the lower belly in, keep the chest up, inhale away and exhale, reach away through the fingertips. One more time, inhale deeply and exhale through the mouth. Just the arm goes to the right, keep the head relaxed, inhale to the right neck. And exhale, reach away. Inhale. 
necessary each of you. Yeah. Use your left hand to pick the head up and again sit up tall for a second. Good. Come down. Lie down. Bicycle abdominals. So keep your chin in and keep your tailbone tucked under. So you're pulling the pubic bone towards the uh, ceiling and towards your chin. That's the tilt you want. Posterior pelvic tilt. Keeping that tilt, bring your legs up. Uh, shins parallel to the ground. Interlace your hands behind the head, elbows in. And then inhale, pick up the chest. Keep your elbows up. Then as you exhale, you want to pick up the tailbone, reach away to the right leg, and bring the hands to the left thigh. Inhale back to center. Keep the tailbone picked up. Exhale, left leg up. Pick up the tailbone a bit more. Guide, hands to the right thigh. Inhale back to center. Keep the pelvis up, keep the shoulder blades up. Exhale, right leg up, pick up the tailbone, suck the lower belly in and bring the hand to the left. Inhale back to center. And exhale, left leg up, pick up the tailbone, elbows to thigh, suck the lower belly down. Inhale back to center. Two more. Exhale, right leg up, tailbone up, elbows to thigh, lower belly in. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left leg out, tailbone up, elbows to the right side, lower belly in, inhale back to center, last one. Exhale, right leg out, tailbone up, lower belly in, elbows to the side, inhale back to center. And exhale, left leg out, tailbone up, elbows to the side, lower belly down, lower belly down, lower belly down, and inhale back to center, exhale down. Good, activating the glutes. Now we'll bring the feet further away than what we usually do for bridge pose. So there's two palms distance between the sit bones and the heels. From here, we'll press down through the shoulder blades, bring the chin, tuck the tailbone under. So we're lifting the pubes up and towards the chin. We will lift the glutes of the ground, the lower back of the ground, and the middle back, and we'll stay there. So it's a half bridge. Press the heels down and feel your glutes activating. Keep a diagonal from the rib cage to the knees. Inhale into the chest. And exhale. Press the heels down. Send the knees away. Feel the glutes squeezing. Inhale back to the chest. And exhale. Press the heels down. Pick up the toes. The toes, not the heels. Press the heels down. Toes up. Spread the toes and keep them there. Exhale again, keep pressing the heels down, sending the knees away, squeeze your glutes. Inhale here. And now stay with all the activations and just lower the middle back and the lower back, but the glutes are still lifted. So keep your glutes off the ground, keep them active. Feel how you're squeezing your glutes. If you want to, bring your hands to your butt and feel how the buttocks are activated. Use your hands, press down into the heels. Inhale, lift the glutes, lift the lower back, lift the middle back. Keep pressing the heels down, upper back is on the ground. Relax the face, relax the jaw. Inhale into the chest, the sides of the chest, the back of the chest. And exhale, squeeze your glutes a bit more, send your knees away. Inhale, and exhale. Keep pressing the heels down, keep the toes lifted, toes spread wide. Inhale, and exhale. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the glutes. Inhale, keep squeezing the glutes. And exhale, lower middle back and lower back, but keep the glutes off the ground. Keep the glutes off the ground. Keep squeezing the glutes. If you want to touch them to make sure they're squeezing, do that. A lot of people are disconnected with their body. <laughs> we're often, we're only using our head all the time, watching, listening, talking, maybe not listening as much, 
but we don't really have awareness of what's happening under the neck. So keep squeezing your glutes to gain that awareness, to regain that um, ability really, to be able to squeeze that big muscle, the gluteus. Press the heels down and reach up, just the upper back on the ground. Press the hands down, press the heels down, squeeze the glutes a bit more. This is the last time we're up, make it count. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, keep pressing the heels down, spreading the toes wide, inhale. Exhale, keep squeezing your glutes by reaching the knees away to lengthen the lower back, inhale. And exhale, stay here, the face is relaxed, the glutes are squeezing. Inhale. Exhale, lower, slowly, very slowly, middle back, lower back. Glutes still squeezing and they touch the ground, they're still squeezing. See if you can squeeze them when they're already down and then relax. So it's not so easy, it's not so evident. But with time you'll be able to squeeze when your hips are down. Hopefully you already can do that. Okay, bring your knees to your chest. Rock back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe with momentum you find a seated position. Maybe you'll have to turn around, use your hands, and then come to all fours. Now from all fours, we're going for dolphin pose. Now dolphin pose is quite intense, at least in my experience. Um, so I'm going to give the variation with the knees down. So you can move the knees down, your elbows are on the ground. You want to press inner hands and outer elbows down. I repeat, inner hands and outer elbows, press down. Of course, the whole palm is down and the whole elbow is down. But by pressing inner hands and outer elbows, you will feel how you're widening the shoulder blades and how you're squeezing your chest. Now from here, you want to push the chest towards the knees. Keep the hips lifting up. Tuck the lower belly in and reach it forward. And fill the opening of the shoulders. If you're ready to come higher, tuck the toes under and lift the legs. Walk the feet in and find your dolphin pose. Otherwise, stay with the knees down and keep doing the same action of opening the shoulders and the shoulder blades. Inhale into the shoulder blades, widen the shoulder blades by pressing inner hands and outer elbows down. And exhale, press the chest towards the feet while keeping the shoulder blades wide. Two more breaths here. Inhale into the shoulder blades, widen the shoulder blades. And exhale, sending your hips up and back, widen the shoulder blades more. Inhale here. And exhale, open the shoulders a bit more, pushing them towards the feet. Inhale here. And exhale very slowly, bring your weight forward and come back to a child's pose. Knees together. Hips back and relax your forehead on the ground. Good job. This was the warm up, but it was quite intense. If it wasn't intense, the next time make it more intense. <laughs> We're now going to do some movement, our classical sun salutations. So we've already been doing these. Try to make it more of a meditation and moving meditation. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and concentrate on your breath. With classical sun salutations, every time we inhale, we really think of back bending. But remember, the back bend comes from the chest. So already from here, uh, come to a kneeling position, bring your hips back, just so that we work on that opening of the chest. Bring your arms overhead. Now when the arms are overhead, you want to elevate the scapula to really reach the arms up and then widen the shoulder blades, bringing the armpits towards your face. So you're widening the shoulder blades, opening up the back of the body, opening it up, and then reaching up. From there, in order to back bend, you want to squeeze your glutes, what we were doing all this time, so squeeze, suck the lower belly, pick up the back bottom ribs, reach up, and then open up through the upper back. It's more evident if you bring the elbows down and Pull back through the shoulders. 
But keep the lower belly in the ribs in. Open up the chest, pick up the chin and inhale here. And exhale, keep pulling lower back, the lower belly in and out. Pick up the pelvic floor muscle, squeeze the glutes up. Inhale and exhale, pull back through the elbows, open up the chest, inhale. And exhale very slowly, come forward. Bring your hands down, tuck your toes under. Push back for a down dog. Reach away through the arms, wide on the shoulder blades. Do any movement, your legs might need to do. And then come to the front of your mat. Feet together or hip distance apart, depending on what feels comfortable for you. Keep the weight forward, relax the head. Interlace the hands behind the head, elbows in. Keep your chin in. And then from there, bend the knees and start on rolling up with your chin on your chest. When you come up, bring your hands to your chest and we'll do our sun salutations. So I'm aware that on Zoom you cannot really see my head, but that's not important. <laughs> the legs of the class will be lower, that's why I make this setup for the camera. So again, feet together, feet distance apart, arms by your sides, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down. And then from here, inhale your arms forward and up, open up the chest, and then exhale, fold forward. Inhale the right foot back, chest forward, arms up, open up the chest, and then exhale, knees, chest and chin, press the hands down. Inhale, slide into cobra, Open up the chest and exhale, push the left hands downwards facing them. Inhale the right foot forward, left knee down, arms up, open up. And exhale, come forward, fold over the legs. And inhale, press the feet down, bring the arms forward and up, open up through the chest and exhale the hands down. Left side, inhale up, open up through the chest. And exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, knee down, open up through the chest. And exhale, knees just chin. Inhale, slide to cobra, press the feet down, open up the chest. And exhale, push back. Inhale, left foot forward, right knee down, hips forward, chest open. And exhale, front of the mat. Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, open up the chest, and exhale, hands to heart center. So bring your hands to your chest, close your eyes, reconnect with your breath. We're going to do half moon. So reach the arms up, really elevate the scapula and widen the shoulder blades. Reach up, sack the belly in, and exhale, laterally stretch to the right. Pull the belly in, open up through the chest, and exhale, press the feet down, sack lower belly in and out. Inhale here, and exhale, reach further away through the arms, the fingertips. Inhale, come back to center. Reach up, again, very high. And exhale to the left. Keep the belly in, open up the chest. And exhale, reach away through the hands. Press the feet down, activate the glutes. And exhale, reach further away through the hands. One more deep inhale here, open up through the chest. One more exhale, press down to reach away. And then inhale, come back, reach up. Bring your arms down. Open up the feet. Shoulder distance apart, so wider apart. Toes facing out, bring your arms forward. And then from here, we will squat down. So keep your belly in and start coming back with the hips, but open up the chest, like you're going to sit back. Keep coming back, keep coming back. Sit down. If you need to, lift the heels. Now from here, we will sit all the way back and we'll bring our feet together. Ground down through the hips, open up the chest, pull the shoulders back. So when the arms are down, there's internal rotation of the arms. 
So this would be an exaggeration where I'm internally rotating, internally rotating, internally, but then I'm pulling the shoulders back. So there's internal rotation, and then I'm pulling back to open up through the chest. Back to the lower belly, in, lift it up, inhale deeply, and exhale through the mouth, maybe move the knees further away. Inhale, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale here. And as we exhale, we send the pubis back. We sack the lower belly in, ribs in, and we reach forward. So it's a lot of core action. Inhale here, and exhale. Keep sending the pubis back, the chest forward. Inhale, and exhale. Press the feet together, inhale, come up, and exhale, release. Use your hands to bring the knees in. Move your knees to the back and count to lying on your belly. Arms by your sides, locust pose. So we'll start with just the uh, chest lifting, the torso lifting. So feet are together, press the tops of the feet down so hard that the kneecaps come off the ground. Press the hip joints down, so the sides of your pelvis down. Tuck the lower belly in, and then squeeze your glutes. Think of lifting the glutes towards your kidneys. Think of lifting the kidneys towards the back bottom ribs. Think of lifting the ribs forward, and then inhale the chin forward, and then the rest of the body just follows the chin, and exhale, everything comes up. Keep pressing the feet down, active legs, four, three breaths. Keep pressing the hands down, lift higher, four, two. And one, inhale here, and exhale, come down. Press down with the hands, elbows in, press down with the knees, tuck the belly in, posterior pelvic tilt, and push to lift up. We're going to do some um, alternating um, limb raises. <laughs> Just made that up. Left hand presses down, right knee presses down. Lift up through the back. So you're pushing to find this hollow body position. Inhale the right arm up, the left leg up. Reach up and exhale down. Notice if you overdid it with the lumbar curve. So suck the belly in, push down through the hands, inhale, left arm and right leg. And exhale down. If it's too much, just bring one arm and not the leg, then the other arm and no leg, and then one leg and then the other leg. Just one leg at a time. Otherwise, let's go two more times. Inhale, right arm, left leg, reach up and gaze under the right armpit, and exhale, hands down, knees down, inhale, left and right leg, gaze under the left armpit, and exhale down, one more time, inhale, lift up, keep the belly in, gaze under, exhale down, and inhale, exhale down, good job, calm down. Now this time, We'll bring the arms by our sides. We will lift the chest, the head, the arms, and we'll press down with the feet and with the hip creases. So press down to, through the feet. Feel how the whole leg engages. Feel how the kneecaps come up, and then squeeze your glutes. Lift the glutes forward. Back the lower belly in, ribs in and forward. And then from here, there is still that internal rotation of the shoulders, but you will inhale the chin forward and the arms up to push the shoulders back for three breaths. Keep the hands going back, open up through the chin, four, two, keep pressing the feet down, strong legs forward, and then slowly come back. Okay, come back up for some thoracic rotations. Knees under the hips, but this time we'll bring the left hand under our face. Roll the shoulders back, 
And then from here, press down strongly through the knees and through the left hand and bring the right hand behind the neck. Inhale, open up the chest, push up, pull the left shoulder forward, and exhale, come down. Notice if your hips are moving, steady the hips, suck the belly in. Inhale, open up, and exhale down. Keep the glutes active, the belly strong. Inhale, lift up, exhale down. We're doing just two more, you can do it. Press down through the knuckles of the left hand. Inhale, open up, left shoulder forward, right elbow back. Exhale down, forward I mean, toward the right. And then inhale, one more time. So shoulder to the right, elbow to the left, and exhale down. Switch sides, right hand under the face. Again, internal rotation of the shoulders, and then you pull them back. Widen the shoulder blades, pull the shoulder blades down. Push away. And from here, press down into the knees, bring your head behind the hand behind the head. Pull the belly in, inhale, open up, and exhale down. Keep pressing down into the hand, into the knees, belly in. Inhale, push and open up, exhale down, find the twist through the chest, through the shoulders. Inhale, open up, keep the hips square, exhale down, two more. Inhale, open up, exhale down, one more. Inhale, open up, push the shoulder, pull with the elbow, and exhale down. Hands down, child's pose. Knees back and arms forward. Inhale deeply into your belly, and exhale through the mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come forward. Come to lying down. Now bring your hands behind your head. Keep your chin in at first. And then reach away through the elbows. Feet together, press the feet down, knee cuts lift, press the hip joints down, pull the belly in and forward, then inhale, reach forward through the chin and up, through the elbows, through the head. Stay here for three, two, and one. Exhale, come down, bring your arms by your sides, chin forward. We'll work with the legs now. So, We'll open up the feet, shoulder width apart. The legs are quite wide, not too wide, but wide. Press down into the feet to feel the activation of the glutes. Pull the belly in and forward. Press down into the hands, the chest, the chin, and we'll just lift the legs. Keep the legs active. So first press the feet down, feel the glutes activating, and then inhale, lift the legs up with the glutes active. Exhale, reach away through the toes for three, Keep reaching up and away. Four, two. Keep your glutes active, your legs straight. Four, one. And exhale, come down. Good. We can do a, a glute exercise, but I think we've done enough of glutes. So let's just move on with the locus poses. Okay. So now you'll bring the arms by your sides and you'll try again with the legs, just the legs. Again, this is also a good exercise, so no need to do something else. Point the feet back, straighten the legs. Feel how the legs are engaging, the glutes are engaging. Pull the belly in to lengthen the lower back and then reach up the legs. Four, three, keep reaching up. Four, two, and now slowly come down. Good. Now we will bring the um, torso up and the legs up. So we'll start with the hands by the body. Reach away through the legs. Feet, shoulder width apart. Press down with the hands, pull the belly in and forward. Press down with the feet, activate the glutes. And then from here, the hands will stay down, the hips will stay down, everything else will lift. 
Inhale and lift. Four or five. Chin forward, chin up, legs up. Four, four. You can do it. Three, keep squeezing your glutes, straighten the legs. Four, two. Further up and back through the head. Four, one. Slowly reach forward through the head, back through the legs, come down. Take a breath. Good. Press down to the hands. Let's come to our knees just for a reset exercise. And then we're going to do Superman. So come down to your knees, feet together. Pull the belly, bring your arms forward. For the fists with the hands, pull the fists back and push forward through the wrists. And then from here, bring the arms up, the wrists up and down. Or 10. Nine, go as fast as you need. Eight, keep pulling back. Seven, keep the arms straight. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now to the right, one, Two, so I'm just opening to the side. Three, four, and five. Now, palms are facing one another, but then you forward face, and then you open up. Four, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, roll them around. And then the other way. Shake it off. Now for our Superman locust, we're going to find this arm position. So hands in fists and pushing forward through the wrist, pulling back through the fists. This is what you want with the hands. Come down, lie on your belly, and extend your arms forward. Form face and push forward with the wrists. Keep the legs together for this one. Pull the belly in and have your chin facing forward. Okay, so from here, it takes a lot of glute strength again. So press the feet down, straighten the legs, feel the glutes engaging. And then inhale, reach forward through the hands and up through the hands, up through the legs, four or five. Chin forward and up, legs higher, straighten the legs, four, four. Squeeze your glutes, keep your belly in, and up, four, two. Two more breaths. Stay here, come higher, four, one. Exhale, reach away and come down. Good job. Good, very good. Press down and come to a kneeling position. Open up your knees, shoulder width apart, so again, wider than the hips. Have your feet hip distance apart, so narrower than the hips. Now from here, narrower than the knees. From here, we'll bring the hands to the waist, and we'll remember to have that internal rotation of the shoulders, and then pull the shoulders back. This is what we want, so pull your elbows back to pick up the chest. Press down through the knees. Find a posterior pelvic tilt. Keep the lower belly sucking in and lifting up. And then from here, pick up the chin, reach the head back, and then back bend through the upper back. Four or five. Keep pressing the feet down, belly in and up, wrist in and up, press the upper back opening. Four, four. Keep the elbows pulling the shoulders back. Four, three. Two, pull the shoulder blades down. And one, inhale, come up and sit down. Now you can repeat that or you can go to the full camel. For full camel, it's easier if you tuck the toes under because you have less distance to cover. If you want to keep your the other toe of the feet on the ground, then it's your call, just stay safe. So come up, again, you can tuck the toes under, as I said or you can stay 
with the previous variation. So find the internal rotation of the, of, the, of the arms, of the shoulders, and then pull the shoulders back. Internally rotate and then pull back. Lower belly in and out, posterior pelvic tilt. Inhale, chin up and back. Upper back bends, middle back bends. Keep bend, uh, the lower belly pulling in. If you want to go for the feet, reach the arms back. And then at the same time, touch the heels. If you're touching the heels, push up with the hands. Open up the chest more, or three. Pull back to the shoulders. Shoulder blades works the sacrum. Four, two. Pull the shoulder blades together and reach them up towards the sky. Four, one. Pull the belly in. Press down into the feet, into the knees. Use your core strength to lift up. And exhale, and tap the toes, sit back. Good job. We're going for Cobra pose. Now what you want with Cobra is to do everything we've been doing until now, but then because you have the hands there to help you, we will also concentrate on the shoulder blade movements. So when the arms are under, like in camel, what we were doing now, and in Cobra pose, what you want is again that internal rotation of the arms, then you pull the shoulders back. So what's happening is that, of course, you have the shoulder blades depressed because the arms are down. So you're pulling the shoulders back, you're pulling the shoulder blades down. And then by pulling back, you're actually pinching the shoulder blades together. You're pushing the shoulder blades together. And then from there, inner shoulder blades are actually going to be pushed forward and lower inner shoulder blades are going to be pushed forward into the rib cage. So it's very important to keep everything compact, open up, and then find that pull through the shoulder blades, reaching back down, reaching in, and then inner shoulder blades pushing forward. So that will be our work. But remember to keep the glutes engaged, to keep the core working so that you don't feel it in the lower back. It is normal the first times that you do back bends that you will feel it in the lower back because you haven't trained yourself yet. But if that's a reminder to keep the core engaged. And with time, you need to build that strength in order not to feel any pain. Let's go for it. Okay, cobra pose, feet together, press the toes down, press all 10 toes down. The kneecaps come off the ground. Your legs are active. Your glutes are active. Keep that engagement of the lower body. Then bring your hands under the shoulders, elbows in. And then from here, again, we'll start with the chin reaching forward and up. So inhale through the chin, come up. And then exhale. Inner rotation of the arms, pull the shoulders back. Keep the chin reaching up and pull the shoulder blades down then pull the inner shoulder blades together and push them forward and find your lower inner shoulder blades, push them forward. Inhale deeply here, reach higher up through the chin. Exhale here, press the feet down, glutes forward, ribs in and forward. Inhale here, reach up. And exhale, reach forward, 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 slide forward, and then come down. It's very important to come out with control. Good. So we're going one more time. If that was intense, just repeat what we did. At some point, it gets more comfortable. And then we can add the legs. So for this variation, I'm going to show the legs for King Cobra. But of course, if you don't feel like lifting legs today, that's fine. If you want to try, you don't need to make it look like I'm doing it. So I've been doing it for a while. If you haven't been doing it for a while, it's probably not going to look like I'm doing. So if you're going to repeat what we did, keep your feet together. Otherwise, feet uh, shoulder width apart again. Chin forward. Start with pressing the feet down. Pull the belly in, lift it forward. So your legs are active, your glutes are reaching the kidneys. Kidneys moving towards the floating ribs. Floating ribs moving forward. Now you can start with the fingertips if you're going to go for a deeper variation. Inhale, chin forward and up, and exhale, inner uh, 
arms in internal rotation and pull the shoulder blades, the shoulders back. Reach the chin up. Now, if you want to go deeper, you can walk your hands back, keep the elbows in, pick up the chest, and then remember, lower the shoulder blades, inner shoulder blades together, inner shoulder blades forward. If you want to add the legs, then you squeeze your glutes more to bend the legs. And then if you want the full variation, you keep going to touch the head to the feet for three breaths. Stay with whatever you're doing for two. And one. Remember to come out very slowly, keeping the belly engaged. Reaching away, reaching away, reaching away. Good. And then turn around. Let's do some up work to counter everything. If you want to do wheel pose, go for it. I'm not going to teach wheel today. We've done enough. Cross the sheets. Bring your hands um, in front of your head, arms crossed. And then from there, do small uh, upward. Four, five, go fast. Four, crunches. Three, crunches was well the word. Two, and one. Switch arms and legs. Five, switch the cross. Four, go faster. Three, two, and one. Good. Slowly come down. Open up the feet and bring the knees together. Inhale deep into the lower back. And exhale through the mouth. So what's very interesting is that when I teach kids, they can all do King Cobra. <laughs> That's why I teach it in beginners classes too, for people to reconnect with that child inside, of course. Probably we lose that flexibility on the way, but we can get it back. So one day at a time, but remember to do it properly, not just collapse yourself to make a shape. Good. Now from here, we will do some more up work. Press the feet down with the feet hip distance apart. Use the momentum of the arms. So arms back, arms forward, and try to come up, arms back, so if you can lift up, that's even better. So pressing the feet down, the pelvis down, come forward, lift up, back, and arms back. Forward, and up, back, and up. If you can't lift, it's fine. Just keep doing what you can. Seven more. Keep the belly engaged. Six, keep pressing the feet down. Four. Three. Control the movement. Two. Last one. Good job. Bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees close. Press your uh, knees against your body and push up with the knees against the hands. Inhale into the lower back. And exhale, pull the knees closer, but keep pushing up with the knees. Inhale. And exhale, lengthen the lower back. Okay, release. Turn around. Chaturanga, again, countering all the back bends. We are going to do Chaturanga with the knees down, because we want to do it properly. So your knees um, are half the thigh away from your hips when it comes to distance. So they're not under your hips. They're not at the whole thigh. They're half the thigh back. You keep your hands under your shoulders. Then again, you find that internal rotation of the, of the arms. You push away through the arms. And then from here, you move the weight forward. Pull the belly in, keep pushing up. And then you bend the elbows. So the elbows stay over the wrists. Come low, as low as you can. And then push to come back up. Come back up and back. So it's a lot of work to do these chaturangas. Forward, keeping the elbows over the wrists. Push, and up. If you can't go all the way to 90 degrees with the elbows, that's fine, go as low as you can. Push, and up. Okay, now really engage the belly. Really find that posture of pelvic tilt. 
Tap the tailbone under. Push. Two more. Keep pushing with the hands. Pull the belly in. One more. Keep the belly engaged. Belly engaged. Push. Good job. Plank pose. Tap the toes under and lift. Just 10 breaths. Push round the back for nine. Eight. If you need to bring the knees down, keep the rest of the body as it is. Seven. Keep pushing away through the hands. Round the back, all the body. Six. Keep your glutes active. Push away through the hands. Five. Keep breathing slowly. Wide at the shoulder blades. Three. Two. And one. Bring your knees down. Come back to child's pose. Amazing job, everyone. Wide on the shoulder blades. Relax. Inhale deeply. And exhale through the mouth. Two more times. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Come forward, come to lie on your back again. Bring your knees over the hips, open up the arms. From there, you want to shift your hips to the right to bring the knees to the left. So you want to shift the hips first so that the hips stay in one line with the crown of the head. Reach our way through the arms and gaze to the right. Pull the shoulders towards the ground, shoulder blades towards the sacrum. Inhale deeply. Exhale through the mouth. Reach our way through the arms. Inhale. And exhale through the mouth. Keep the knees stuck, one on top of the other. You can even bring the left hand above. Inhale. And exhale, pull the shoulder blades down, reaching our way through the shoulders. Inhale here. And exhale, pull the belly, bring the knees back up. Shift your hips to the left this time and bring your knees to the right. Stack the knees one on top of the other. Make sure that from the hips to the head, there's one straight line. Bring your right hand on top of the knees if you want to, or arms out. Pull the shoulder blades down, gaze towards the left. Inhale from the sacrum all the way up to the crown of the head. And exhale through the mouth, release. Relax your gaze, do it two more times, exhaling through the mouth. Pull the belly in. Exhale, bring the knees back to center. Hug your knees, roll from side to side. Massage your lower back. Massage your middle back. Massage your upper back. You deserve this massage. If there's any other pose you want to do before finishing, go ahead. Otherwise, you can pull the knees close. Hug yourself, give yourself a strong hug. Exhale, pull the knees even closer. And then inhale, open up. And exhale, relax. For Shavasana, you can choose to bring the feet closer to the hands, bend the knees and bring the knees together. Having the feet apart and the knees together lengthens the lower back. If you feel comfortable with the legs extended, then feel free to extend the legs. But, but pull your chin in so that the neck is long. Widen your shoulder blades and then relax the arms. Relax your arms, relax your hands, palms facing up. And then inhale deeply again from the sacrum to the crown of the head. Deep, deep breath. And exhale through the mouth. Let go. Thank you.
your whole body. Allow your breath to be natural. Your ribs to flare out naturally. Your pelvic floor muscles to release, expand. Relax your eyebrows, relax your inner ears, relax your jaw. And surrender to stillness. Let go. And enjoy. Let be. Perhaps we should love ourselves so fiercely that when others see us, they know exactly how it should be done.
as always, we come to a seated position to finish our practice. We want to sit tall. We want to pull the shoulders back, have the chest proud. You want to relax your face, the muscles. And inhale deeply from your roots all the way up to the crown of the head. Exhale through the nose. Find more height as you inhale deeply. Make an exhale through the nose, allow the breath to settle the practice in your body. One more time, inhale deeply. Feel that power and exhale, allow that power to find its place in every single cell of your body. Relax your elbows, inhale your arms up, reach up. Expand, extend, reach up. And then exhale your hands to your chest. Thank you for doing this. I know I pushed you, but it's because we can. So keep working hard, keep doing the work. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, I'm always here, just contact me. The light in me honors and celebrates the light in you. Namaste.